Hey guys, this is Turgo Live here. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Um, in this video, I'm actually going to show you how to save your past broadcasts. Um, I've actually had a lot of questions in regards to this, especially people streaming off of an Xbox and a PS4. Uh, but if you want to know how to do this, this is your video. Um, I'm actually a Twitch streamer myself, stream about four to five days a week. And without further ado, uh, make sure you like, subscribe, um, leave a comment on the video of other tutorials that you might want. Let's get into the tutorial. Now, the first step that you're going to want to do is make sure you go to twitch.tv, of course. Then you're going to go ahead and go up here to your icon, uh, make sure you're logged in here, and then click the creator dashboard. And then once you're here, you're going to want to go to the preference tab, okay, and then go to channel. Now, this gives you varying different options that you can do, but right here is the store pass broadcast. Okay, so if, it's the, if this is not checked like this, you're gonna wanna go ahead and check that. Okay, it automatically saves for broadcast for up to 14 days. However, if your partner have Turbo or Prime, it works for 60 days. So I'm currently a Prime member, so my videos are actually saved for 60 days. So if you do become a Prime member, it's pretty easy, especially if you want to use it with Amazon. You can, you know, have your video saved for 60 days. Um, of course, that's re it's really a short tutorial video today. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. There's a lot of different options that you can do here. So if you don't, like, if you can't find something, try to just click around and you should be able to find that. Um, and if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, let me know. All right. Thanks again so much for tuning into the video. And again, make sure you leave a comment below on any more questions you have. Thanks, guys.